Hi, welcome to John Sequitur, a show that you get once or twice a year if you're lucky. Why on earth would I go out of my way to make a politics video? I don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear it. You're already turning it off. Oh, come back. Come on, man. Didn't even give me a chance. Well, for those of you who are still here, the election is coming and we are voting for a president. The leader of the executive branch, the person in charge of the military, that guy. Do you ever think to yourself that maybe they should do their job more? Or even better, since really election season is just a big interview with the American people. Don't you think they should tell us what they are bringing to the table? Don't you think they should tell us what policies they actually back and which ones they don't? So we know what policies we're voting for and which ones we're not? Because I got to tell you, I don't. I know this. I know the Democrats will tell us that they won't codify Roe versus Wade if they don't get in. I got news for you guys. You won't codify it even if we do put you in there. So it doesn't really make a difference. What if, instead of voting for a douche or a turd sandwich, which by the way, I'd take the douche because the douche is useful. The turd sandwich is not. There is a distinct difference between a turd sandwich and a douche. I would take the douche, but the reason that I don't want to vote for either one of them is because they do not make their policies clear, and that is my idea. My idea is, instead of voting for people, we list all of the possible policies that are out there during that particular election season, and we vote on which ones we want and which ones we don't want. If we skip one, our vote doesn't go towards it, but we vote for whatever we want as far as policies go. Once those policies are added up and we know what a majority of people want, then we place somebody in there to do those policies, to pass them, to write... Th I don't know how the government works. I watched that I'm a bill thing. I still don't have a clue how it works. I don't think it does work. I think they just tell us that if we don't pick them, they will do something or won't do something, and then they don't or do do it, just depending on if it's election season or not. If it's election season, they'll sneak it in real fast. If it's not... They're not going to do it. Most of the policies that would be voted on by both of these guys are ones that don't really affect everyone. So there are certain ones where you would look at and you'd have to make a choice based on your uh, empathy, humanity. You might not have any, so you might vote for the other ones. But chances are there's enough people who have those traits that that policy would get passed. And then whoever goes into the office after that, and it's just going to be some guy who has to do an interview like every other schmuck, they get in, and their only job is to pass the policies or do the paperwork necessary for the policies to pass. That's it. Is he in charge of the military? Sure. But we only use the military when someone is directly threatening us. Now, you may say to yourself, John, don't you know anything about world politics and, and war? And uh, Yeah, no, I don't. I don't care. It, it's all dumb. War is made up stupid bullshit. Money is made up stupid bullshit. It's all made up. I'm making this up. The president's made up. The government's made up. Society's made up. Everything is fucking made up. That was exhausting. There's only three minutes. Not bad, guys. I'll see you in another year.